What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Austin and I are out here at Woody's Truck Parts here in Ocala. And funny thing about it guys, the owners of the joint, their last name is Wilson also. And we are here looking at semi trucks. They've got like 18 acres of, of property here, with tons of semis for sale, parts. We actually rode around and found a 9670 cab over for parts out back. So we found our parts truck right here, only 60 miles from home. So um, today we're looking at a Peterbilt cab over. So this Peterbilt, guys, is a 1984 362 cab over. It does have a Caterpillar in it. Third, uh, I think it's a 10-speed, right? Yeah. I don't know what. It's a 3406 or, yeah. 36 oh, cool, so mechanically injected. It is air ride back here. I think that's like a 250-inch wheelbase, looks like maybe. It is basically road ready. It does need some light work and stuff like that on some wiring. Uh, they said the AC works in it, I think. It's got a new air compressor, a new fuel pump. Um, it might need a few things here and there, but it does have a caterpillar. So let's go see if this thing will start up. It's got 826,000 miles on it, guys. It's got all kinds of gauges for everything, for fuel filter flow, uh, exhaust manifold pressure, all kinds of stuff, engine oil tip front and rear axle temps and transmission temp sensors. Um, looks like it's got some kind of an air pressure leak somewhere, but the main air pressure is good. I'll see. Yeah. Yeah, it's got some air problems we're gonna have to lurk out. So these, all these Peterbilts are the actual fuses and resets for them, so. Something a little bit different there. Yeah, yeah windshield wipers work. We got some stuff falling down over here. Headliner needs some work. <laughs> Horn's a little weak. What do you think? I like that it's like older, it's got a caterpillar in it. Definitely a cool truck. Guys, looks like the handles rotted out right here on the passenger side and we can't get it in this box because the handles rotted but whoever did the paint job did like a spray it's definitely like painted with a paint gun but it could have done a lot better yeah oh there's some rust up there and it'll be on the top of the cap too it does have like a baby visor on it this one feels like it's a lot taller than the International, it is. Kind of weird. Definitely does sit up a lot taller. It does have 24 fives on it. Um, he did correct me, it has a 15 speed in it. Yeah, 15 speed transmission. It is air ride, I think I mentioned that already, which is nice. Uh, the fifth wheel doesn't look like it's too worn out or anything like that, that bad. There are a few air lines we're gonna have to replace. It does have a sliding hitch, which is nice. What? Need some hoses? They replaced them. Oh, they did replace them? Okay. It's got an air dryer right there, which is the same one we're putting on our cab over. And like some of these hoses right here that are kind of rotted. Definitely gonna be addressed. Yeah, definitely they've replaced some hoses. I don't know what those, those are probably like the old ones that they just left on the frame and didn't take off. You can see where there's the axle temp sensors down there. There's definitely gonna need tires. Tires are trash. That one's low. So the asking price on this truck, guys, I think they're asking $10,000 for it. Um, definitely have to work with them a little bit on the price, maybe. They do have a ton of freaking trucks here, guys. Fire trucks, all kinds of stuff. 
So that's pretty much it for this Peterbilt. We're gonna walk out back and look at some of the um, parts trucks they've got up here for sale and check those out and see what we come up with those. All right, guys, so we stole one of Woody's golf carts up here. They got all kinds of stuff going on. Look at all these engines, transmissions. They got tons of stuff. They said they do have a 13 speed transmission that we could put in our cab over up here for like two grand or 2,500 bucks for a good, well, a good used unit with no issues. Look, baby, there, there's a cat international. Look at all those wheels. Holy crap. There it is. It's on a wreck. Well, the passenger side step is no good. <laughs> it's a good thing we need the driver's side step. Oh, baby. She is mint, too. Oh, she got a little scuff right there. Dang. It's got, like, the headlight stuff that we need. Well, no. The grills are definitely like, a lot nicer shape. They're still, like, polished, nice and pretty. Bumper's done for. All right, guys. So I'm inside the cab, and this being a newer model, this is probably, like, a mid-'90s. Interior is different in it, and it's got, like, a extra bunk storage space up there it's definitely huge inside here compared to ours yeah it's different dang it crap you been helped bud yeah is that what he said yeah. <laughs> hey this mattress looks sweet though i think we need this mattress okay. yeah main, main thing i've been looking for is a switch panel and that one's just not the right one we're going to continue on our journey through the parts yard. Um, I did talk to them. We're going to come back up here Monday or Tuesday of next week and do a full scavenge hunt on this place. But there's one more truck I got to show you. Everybody's going to want to cab over wheel at start. Let's go see if we can find it. It's sitting up here. I feel like we can make like a oh, holy freaking crusher, boy. Dang. We got to get them to crush something while we're here. Oh my gosh. There's like engines everywhere up here. This is crazy. I've never been to a semi truck junkyard of you. No. Oh, there she is. <laughs> think we can get that thing started? Yeah. You think so? I don't know. This thing is ancient too baby it's got a small cam cummins in it the, um, they said it's not locked up i don't want it because it's in like super rough shape but it'd be worth us coming up here and try to do a wheel at start video let me know in the comments guys want to see us do a wheel at start video on this old international i forget what they call it, these this model of truck exactly but is that shit not that shape? well from the looks of it on the outside it is a pt fuel system on it it's crazy how small this thing is compared to that one we just looked at and even ours how small like the vehicles were way back in the day. Uh, -uh. That's, that's probably a 70s model or 60s. Well guys, this is about gonna conclude our video for today of touring the Woody's junkyard. <laughs> this isn't even, we ain't even scratched the top of it. There's so much stuff here, it's crazy. All right, this, this is a full day video right here of us coming out, doing a wheel at start on that cab over right there, the old International and doing all kinds of cool stuff, so. Back to the party bus. Oh, baby. Old girl still over there idling away. All right, guys. So let us know in the comments what you think. Make sure you smash the like button. Drop a comment down below and subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Let's get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of April, maybe. That'd be cool if we could do that. Um, we'll be back out here next week. Um, so it's going to kind of conclude our videos with the cab over stuff for probably about three videos, three or four videos. we got something pretty cool series coming up next, guys. So make sure you're getting ready for that. <sighs> so I'm excited to get another cab over, and we're getting into that shop. All kinds of cool stuff happening in the month of April, guys, while we're all locked down on this quarantine thing. So... Uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Be sure to check out Woody's Trucks of Ocala. I'll put some information in the description below to up here to their uh, shop up here, guys. They got all kinds of cool parts. So, see you later. Peace. So, here's a little bonus footage for you guys. Austin and I are headed back. You can kind of see what's on our trailer back there. That'll be uploaded um, tomorrow, Friday, in our videos. 
Um, well, Austin and I are hauling butt back to sign the lease on the new uh, building we're going to be renting for all of our videos, all that cool stuff. We'll be doing like a full reveal on that like next Tuesday or Wednesday, somewhere in there. Um, and we're also headed to the Freedom Factory tonight. We are going to be operating the fire truck to try to keep things as safe as possible um, during the Freedom 500. If you guys didn't know, the Freedom 500 has been moved from tomorrow, April 3rd, to today, April 2nd. Broadcasting goes live at 7 p.m. I'll put a link in the description to um, where you can buy the pay-per-view. It's pay-per-view only. There are no, absolutely zero spectators there. And we are practicing all the safe procedures to keep social distancing intact while we are at the race tonight. So, little PSA, guys. See you later. Peace.